Hey everybody, welcome to the Hamakua Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany, and on this channel, I'm taking you along for the adventures here on the ranch. Today's adventure is making restaurant style salsa. We are going to be water bath canning this recipe in pint jars. I will go ahead and link the recipe that I am basing my recipe off of. Um, I am following it quite a bit, but there are a little bit of um, differences. One difference is I didn't realize that I was supposed to get two different types of Brotel when I was at the store. So I am replacing two of those hands with diced tomatoes. And also I'm adding poblano peppers, and that is not in the recipe. To get started, we are going to go ahead and cut up two cups of yellow onion, three cloves of garlic, which means like six or eight, eh, of course, two to four jalapenos, one cup of cilantro. All right, so now that we have all of our um, veggies and peppers and everything all cut up, really it is the most simple thing after that. We just gotta put it all in the food processor. Honestly, I'm just really hoping it all fits. We might have to do it in two batches. I am quite sure that you could follow this same recipe with fresh tomatoes, but we are in the middle of December right now, and even here in Hawaii, it is definitely not tomato season. Um, I did check out the fresh tomatoes at the store, but they were a little bit too pricey for me. So, we are going with canned tomatoes for today. Store-bought canned tomatoes. That is two cans of tomatoes. The recipe that I'm going off of actually calls for whole tomatoes, but I grabbed diced tomatoes. I don't think they'll make that much of a difference. I think we're gonna have to do this in batches. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these blended up because you can see we are super full already. And then I'll get this in the stock pot and then do the rest of our ingredients. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our two cans of Rotel. These are the ones with the green chilies. I realized when I got home from the grocery store that I was supposed to have two of these and two of another type as well. But that's okay, it's gonna work out. Quarter cup of tomato paste, approximately two cups of yellow onion, now in this bowl, I have all mixed together our jalapenos. There are six of them, two plebano peppers, and one green bell pepper. One and a half teaspoons salt, half a teaspoon sugar, half a cup of lime juice, two teaspoons cumin, recipe calls for ground cumin, but I'm gonna be blending it up anyways, and I happen to have cumin seed for some odd reason. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our cilantro. I am definitely adding more cilantro than the recipe calls for, but you know what? If it sits in my fridge, it won't get used, and I love cilantro. Going to be great. Right, so now I pretty much just want to check the texture. It's not going to taste the same because all the tomatoes are in the other dish. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, spicy. It's spicy. You do have the option to leave the seeds out of the peppers, of course, if you want to. And that'll make it a lot less spicy, but I'm digging it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this batch mixed in with the tomato batch and see what happens when they're all mixed together. Okay, so that portion is done. We've got it all mixed together in our stock pot. We're going to go ahead and bring it to a medium boil for about 15 minutes. We have to 
definitely going to taste test along the way to make sure that we don't need to add any extra salt or any other flavorings. I know it's still cold, but I can't wait. I'm going to try it. It's not really spicy anymore that I mixed it with the tomatoes. I'm going to add another teaspoon of salt to this batch. It feels like it's lacking something. Because I want to water bath can this recipe, by the way, I added another teaspoon of salt in that apple bottle. But because I want to water bath can this, and I added a little bit more onions and more peppers than the recipe calls for to be safe for water bath canning. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the apple cider vinegar route just to ensure that my salsa is considered high acid. I don't feel like pressure canning it right now. I'd rather just water bath can it. And that's how I'm gonna make it safe. And I think that it'll help with the taste too because it's a little bit on the bland side, I have to say. One cup apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna start off with that to counteract the acidity taste of the vinegar. And another taste test time. So pretty. Mm. Wow, that changed everything. It's the apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna do one more teaspoon of sugar, and then I think we're just gonna go ahead and let it boil for its 15 minutes, and then we'll get it jarred up. All right, well, that took a little bit longer than I was expecting because I forgot to sterilize my jars ahead of time. And when we're water bath canning, it's important to sterilize them in boiling water beforehand. So now it is finally time to jar up our salsa. But before we do that, let's give it another quick taste. Excellent. And once our jars are filled up, we go ahead and clean our rims. Make sure there's no residue on there that's gonna interfere with our seal. And that was quite a sloppy one. Get your lids put on there. Okay, so we ended up with nine and a half pints of our salsa, which is pretty cool. So it's all buttoned up in the water bath canner, which is just a soft pot, honestly. And we're gonna process this at a full rolling boil for 15 minutes. And I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like when we take them out. All right, so our salsa has been processed in the water bath canner. It went for just more like 17 minutes um, at a full rolling boil, full rolling boil. Um, and then I went ahead and just let it kind of come down from its boil for about the last 10 minutes or so. So let's go ahead and take them out and see how they look. It's good so far. Everything looks really good. I'm super stoked about this salsa. It is delicious. And I will definitely reiterate the um, apple cider vinegar. Game changer. I would definitely recommend that if you guys want to try this one. It is super delicious and I hope you guys decide to give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamakura Homestead. I'll see you again soon.